to. I'm going to pray. But what age are you at? Uh, 53, Mr. Mongo. 53. 53. 53. Dear Father, in Jesus' name, be with one that has come half the direction and is going further from here. I ask God in Jesus' name that this one would be able to know that the first thing that we are instructed to do is to get closer to you, Almighty God. And so I'm asking that this one and all of us could pray, could read the Word, the Scriptures, could do that which is thinking of Thee and bring us on into a moment that our life has a new chapter because of your help in our living from A to Z. Minister to all of us. But God, I ask that we could have the rough edges not staying. Whatever is the thing that shouldn't be, May it not remain in our moment. Take us further than where we are in a blessed way. Minister to each of us and God lead us and guide us and direct us. Minister to all of us, dear God, I pray. But God, we all are individuals that mean we aren't all the same. And so whatever each individual needs, may they know it. I ask God that you would give us wisdom, that you would give us knowledge, that you would give us guidance, that you would help us, dear God, to know the truth from A to Z. And God, I ask that you would minister to the body, that the body could be blessed in every bit of its moment, the head and every bit to the feet. Let all of our body be blessed, I pray. Minister to each of us Dear God, I pray, but I'm so thankful that your word declares that you are a present help in time of trouble. And so I'm asking that we could have your help, known and unknown, because we don't know everything we need, but you do. And so give us what we're aware of, but more still, I pray, lead and guide and direct us. And God, I'm asking that we could have, when we're doing what's right, more strength. Help us to be stronger when we're wanting to do what's right, I pray. In Jesus' name, granted, Lord, we thank you now. God bless your on the air. Hello? Yes. Pastor Vogel? Yes. I bless you, Pastor Vogel, and I thank you very much for your ministry. I would like prayer today for a personal friend of mine. He is a um, homeless vet. He lives in a lived in a tent in the woods. He has no money and no place to live. Wow. He has a tent. Yes, it's very, very, very sad that the that the military cannot take care of him any more than that that, that they can. Now this but anyway this friend of you live living in that tent. Uh what's what area does he in Michigan or somewhere else? Yes, in Westland, Michigan. Okay. Well, what happened was if someone, we don't know how, the police came by and found his tent, tore it down, took his blankets, his grill, his chair, and right here, right now, he has absolutely no place to go, no place to live. And so for right here, right now, I'm letting him sleep on my porch because I can't let him into my house because it's an assisted living facility. And I do not have the ability nor the right to let him come in and sleep on my couch. 
I am praying that the Lord Jesus, he is a Christian. I'm praying that the Lord Jesus help him to find some place to live and to get some help somehow, some way, so he doesn't have to live on the sidewalk. I, I would like someone to call t with some information tonight to bless you. And uh, what age would you put him at? 67. He's 67. Then, yes. All right. And uh, he's a man. Can you give his first name? I really want God to bless him. His name is Robin. Robin? Robin, R-O-B-E-N. Okay. We're going to ask God to meet all of his needs. And I want God to begin even tonight. And so he's living on on your front yard? Right here, right now. I gave him a sleeping bag and a pillow, and I'm letting him sleep on my porch. And is that I a, can't let him into the house. Is that an open porch or is it closed? It's an open porch. It's the best I can do. At least he has a blanket and a pillow, and I've been feeding him. I thank God for you. I want to pray for both this one and Robin and you. God bless. We'll pray Thank now. Thank you, sir. Dear Father, be with your daughter in this moment. And God, I ask that you would bless her exceedingly. And God, that you would be with that one on her porch. That you would be with Robin. I ask God that you would give him a new moment in living. I ask God in Jesus' name that you would supply all the need that is his in this moment. Spiritual, physical, mental, emotional. I ask God that Robin would be able to know that if he would come close to thee, your word is, uh, I set before you an open door, and no man can shut it. And so let there be a open door for Robin, we pray. Let there be an open door. And God, I'm asking that you would minister to all of us because we're individuals facing something that's personal that's not the same for everyone. But whatever we face in this moment, may we get closer to Thee. Lead us and guide us and direct us, I pray. In Jesus' name, thank You for Your promise that if we seek You, we will find You. If we knock, the door will open, and you said there's a blessing in here. Come and be blessed. Bless us, I pray, all of us, and we'll thank you. Yea, we thank you now. God bless your on the air. Good morning, Pastor Bogle. Uh, this is Martha again. I, I had, this is my, one of my sister's birthdays, and it's been a pretty good day. Uh, just the grace of God. Thanks for the grace of God, because I've had so many obstacles, I couldn't do much for her on her birthday. But I, we had a pretty good time together. But um, I would like to say to the fellow that has nowhere to go, um, all I can suggest uh, is uh, the Detroit Rescue Mission. 